Pastor Rich, thank you so much for being here with us. It is an honor to have you here. Yeah, thank you for allowing me to be here. It's, it is an honor. Let's talk first about those who are struggling with porn. Yeah. They're, they're watching it. And how do you help them in a practical way start coming out of that? Yeah. Uh, my wife and I, we use this acronym in our household. We say, let's keep it hot. Mm. That means be honest, be open, and be transparent. God could work with your honesty but he cannot work with your lies. And I believe the reason why so many people are bound is because they're not transparent. Yeah. And to be honest with you, that's what I did with my wife. Yeah. I said, I want you to be honest with me. Mm -hmm. And she said, why? Because I told her, I want you to take out all the bullets out of the enemy's gun. So if we want to learn to stay pure, be full of God. Whatever you're full of is what you're going to be led by. So if you're full of yourself, then you're going to make a fool of yourself. Oh, wow. But if you're full of God, then you're going to be led by God. So what I would say is that after you're open, after you repent, then from there, start filling yourself up daily. Watch what you're looking at. Mm. Watch what you're looking at. For me, my favorite um, button right now on Instagram and social media is unfollow. <laughs> unfollow. Yeah. I want to unfollow. It's if crazy. You're posting some um, crazy photos. Yeah. Unfollow. You know, because whatever we look at yeah. has the potential to get into our heart because that's where impurity start. It starts in the eye and then it gets to our heart. Definitely. So we have to make sure that we turn our eyes away from worthless things. Mm. And I love that, that's Psalm 119. God, turn my eyes away from worthless things. In other words, help me to see what you want me to see. And when those temptations come, help me to turn my eyes away from those things so it doesn't uh, affect me, right. especially when you're going to the gym. Nowadays, I, I never had to pray so much before I go in the gym. Wow. I'm like, man, it's just getting shorter and shorter and skimpier and skimpier. It's like, come yeah. on, man, this yeah. is the gym, you know? <laughs> hey, but even in the gym area, yeah. Yeah. watch, you got, you got to pray. Yeah. Because the enemy will always serve you a dish that you have an appetite for. Mm. So whatever you have an appetite for, he's going to serve you that dish. And if he's going to serve you that dish, then you need to be cognizant of what you're looking at. Mm. So those are some practical tips I would say. I love your transparency because, you know, sometimes people think, well, he's a pastor. He yeah. doesn't, he doesn't struggle. He doesn't have to fight temptation, but I just appreciate your yeah, transparency. Absolutely. Yeah. What would you say to somebody who's watching who thinks, okay, this is all sounds great. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. But I don't think porn really affects me. I mean, I'm yeah. behind a screen. I'm not engaging in anything physical. I yeah. mean, like what, what's the big deal? Absolutely. What would you say to them? Yeah. Porn. <laughs> Um, you know, for instance, I'll be in a practical way. If we started smoking a cigarette a day, we could easily say, ah, smoking a cigarette doesn't affect us. Look at me. I don't, got, I don't have lung cancer today. I'm not getting affected today. I'm breathing well. But every time you smoke that cigarette, little by little by little, it starts to contaminate you and it starts to affect you. Same with pornography. Pornography is the small little sin that grows and grows and grows. And the Bible teaches us in the Song of Solomon that it's the little foxes that spoil the vines. So here's what pornography does. It'll start to contaminate you. Well, the reality is, is that when we watch pornography, we do it in our secret place. Mm -hmm. I never seen anybody sit, tell people, hey, I'm about to watch pornography. Would you all want to hang out with me? Let's uh, make some popcorn. Yeah. Why don't we go get, get the coffee ready? Because it's going to be a good video today. You know, we don't, uh, we, we're not having celebration parties for pornography. Right, right. Yeah. We're doing it alone. The Bible teaches us that we should go in a secret place with God mm. and hang out with Him and get a word from Him. And it's hard to be alone with God when your mind is perverted. And it's hard to lift up holy hands when you have dirty fingers. Yeah. The truth is, is that pornography will mess up your relationship with God. And then it will also mess up your marriage and start to mess up your relationships. The good news is that, hey, if you learn to repent, if you learn to give this up to the Lord and say, God, I need your help. God will help you. He will free you from this bondage. But it's us, you know, you being willing to be open and honest with God and saying, God, I need help with this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now this, this uh, you broke it down so well, yep. but pornography, let's really get to, yep. let's be honest here. It comes accompanied by something always that people don't want to talk about. The M word, masturbation. So do people need to give that up? What if, what if people are watching, they're saying, well, but you know, like I'm just doing that. I'm not watching pornography. Yeah. How, what would you say to them? Yeah, well, por uh, pornography and masturbation go hand in hand. I don't know anybody who watches pornography with a coffee and whatever, a pastry and not wanting to do anything with themselves. When it comes to masturbation, you have to think about yeah. it. So you're already in the act of sexual immorality. And that's something that I would tell the people, 
that you need to learn to obliterate, you need to obliterate that, you need to get rid of that because um, in order to masturbate, you, even if they don't even watch pornography, we'll, we'll flip the issue up. Oh, I don't, I don't watch pornography, but I masturbate. What are you thinking about? But you, you have lived it out where yeah. I know from your testimony, you walked in purity for seven to eight years. Yep, eight years. And you decided to yep. not look at pornography, not look, not masturbate. masturbate. Nope. Then here's what I believe. If, if I want to do something, if we're going to do something, let's do it right. Mm -hmm. And I wanted my relationship with God to be genuine and I wanted it to be authentic. So I told myself, if I'm going to have a relationship with you, God, I want to be pure. Okay. I do not want to allow the things of this world to affect our relationship, to affect my anointing. So I, I abstained from it. And one book really, um, revolutionized my life. Um, in this book, this woman said, whenever you're struggling with those thoughts, mm -hmm. whenever you're, you're battling with um, pornography or, you know, masturbating or if those thoughts come in, yeah. she said to do something I thought was quite interesting. She said to go and write down a list mm. and write 10 things down that you're fighting for. Mm. So whenever those thoughts come in, you go back to your lists and you read your list and you say, okay, the reason why I'm not going to masturbate is because it's going to affect the calling on my life. The reason why I'm not going to, you know, masturbate and watch pornography, it's going to, you know, affect my leadership. Yeah. And when those thoughts come, because, you know, wherever we go, those, those thoughts are roaring rampant. You know, you go on social media, you see things, you go right outside. You, like I said, you go, go to, to the, the gym, mall. the mall, <laughs> boom, yeah, right, right away. There. You yep. know what I mean? You walk by Victoria's Secret, mm -hmm. here she is trying to tell you her secret. It's like mm -hmm. everywhere you look, <laughs> right? And everywhere yeah. you go, it's out there. So when those thoughts came to me, what I would do is I would go back to it. Mm. Love it, because it reminds me of Habakkuk chapter two, where it says, you know, write down the vision plain, so plain that you could be able to run with it and other people could run with it. I would sit there and I would remind myself what I'm fighting for. So what I did was I made sure to put boundaries in my life to help me so I could walk this walk of purity. Rich, thank you so much. Thank it you, was man such a God. blessing to have you. Appreciate God you. God bless you. God bless you. If you're struggling with this, and in today's culture, literally, you cannot grow up in America. I don't think you can grow up without seeing some kind of pornography, whether it's a store in a mall or a magazine cover uh, or all the clickbait that's out there on the Internet. Uh, the stories are now rampant, even in grade school. Uh, children are watch watching pornography on smartphones on the school bus. And you, you look at this and go, where have we gone as a culture? But more importantly, where have you gone? Because one of the problems with pornography is it starts out with just a picture or a clickbait, but your brain is wired, and it's wired in a way that that produces something in your brain that you want to go back to. There's a reason you hide it. There's a reason you keep it secret. You don't want anyone to know, but it's also a reason why you keep going back. It's addictive. And medical science is saying it releases sort of the same chemicals that cocaine releases in, into your brain. And that is very addictive. Can you put it down? Yeah. But then you go back and you pick it up. And along with that comes a whole wagon load of guilt and shame and covering up and all of those horrible things that separate you from God. Now, this isn't new for Christians. And when you read the New Testament, you, you read the Apostle Paul struggling. Who can free me from this body of sin and death? You read about Peter and how he struggled against the flesh. And he says, I, I don't want anything to do with it anymore because I realize it's an enemy of my soul. And if you want to have an uninterrupted communication with God Almighty, well, then you have to put these things away. How do you do that? Well, you find the same victory that the Apostle Paul. He said, who can free me from this body of sin and death? He said, I thank God that he has given me Jesus Christ. And in those alone moments, instead of turning to pornography, turn to him and he will give you freedom. We're all called to steward our sexuality. God was very specific with it. He wanted that expressed between a man and a woman. He created a special garden just for them. And the purpose, to have children that will be raised in a loving family. But if these desires are spread under every green tree, well, then 
No, you've missed it. And you've missed what God intended. And he wants generations and he wants generations of righteousness. He wants right living. He doesn't want his children doing these kinds of things. He wants you to be pure and holy before him and his commandment, be holy for I am holy. If you're struggling with this and you need someone just to pray with you, to stand with you, you don't have to leave your name. You don't have to tell us anything about, about, about what you're going through other than I need help right now. I want to maintain my purity. I want to be holy before a holy God. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. And I can tell you from my own life something that really worked. Go on a fast. When you deny your hunger, you'll find all these other things get uh, put away too. Uh, and it's incredible the victory you can get just by fasting. Uh, so resolve today. You are going to steward your sexuality. You're going to steward it within marriage. You're going to save yourself for your spouse. And when you have this covenant, God will back you up and he will be there for you. And if you need prayer, call us, 1-800-700-7000. Ashley? Love that. And it's so true. And you are never too far gone. And we do have something for you guys. You can watch our one hour unhooked special on February 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern time on the CBN News Channel or at CBN.com slash unhooked. And again, if you're struggling with pornography or if you know someone who is, we have a free series available for you. It's called Unhooked purity in a pornified world, to watch this exclusive content and more interviews with people who have come out on the other side of pornography addiction, just go to cbn.com slash unhooked. And if you want to take your journey to freedom even further, get the set free online course. It includes video teachings and study guides that you can go through on your own or in a small group. So go to cbn.com slash unhooked to get the course for just $10 using the code unhooked. I'm telling you, it's so worth it.